this is gonna work. I finally remembered to bring my tripod slash selfie stick so that I can have both hands to talk this morning. The only thing is, is it's not big enough to see the screen all the way from there. So, and I don't even think these are gonna help. So, I have to get back to questions and comments. Or I'll have mom uh, relay questions to me since it's too far away and my phone screen is too small. So therefore, I think, I think the Quill Store may need to buy a really big iPad. So, I um, may be buying an iPad this weekend so that we could do this via iPad with a larger screen so that Amy can see what you're writing. You know, any excuse to buy a new toy, right? Good morning, good morning everybody. How's everybody? I know it's really gonna, it's hard, it was hard to get up and get moving this morning. This gray, uh, overcasty weather is, um, not doing a very good uh, help to my motivation and vibe, but was here bright and early this morning, trying to pep for two, prep for two classes um, at once this morning, since I just have a day full, uh, full, see I can't even talk, a day full of AccuQuilt. So, um, exciting, exciting, exciting. Yes, thank you, Miss Kathy. I did put on makeup this morning because I think I looked a little scary at 8.30. Um, at, well, at 6 when I got up this morning. So I thought, well, let me uh, do my makeup. Uh, make it look a, a little more awake. I haven't had any caffeine yet, but I did have breakfast. So. <laughs> Miss Maria, you be careful driving and listening to me for Breakfast Club. Oh, too funny, too funny. Some people, up. Miss Jennifer's up sewing already. Still in bed, I wish I was still in bed, and I'll tell you that. I, it was, it really, this was like the, last night was the first night I slept the best in probably over a week. Um, so I really didn't want to get out of bed this morning because I finally felt like I got some sleep um, last night. I guess I was exhausted after yesterday's uh, live and all the other things that we were doing. So let's, let's go ahead and get started. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Yes, I, my internal alarm, Miss Jennifer, went off at 4.30 because I'm usually up and getting ready for the gym. So... Um, but I really didn't want to get up as I laid there and avoided and thought, why did I agree? Why did I come up with this idea of doing an event at 8.30 in the morning on a Saturday? You know, sometimes things uh, are good ideas until they actually happen. No, just kidding. This is, this is good. I have a nice quiet store. I can talk and do things and not have to worry about... Um, People interrupting to ask me questions in person uh, while, while I'm talking to you. So let's talk about AccuQuilt this morning. So what is it? Why do I need it? And I'm just going to fiddle with the camera for a minute. So just give me one second because I'm trying to make sure that you can see what it is. So you may be able to see the machines, but my head may be cut off. Yeah, so you get to, I'll just squat. We'll just teach like this today. So an AccuQuilt is a cutting system that is going to save you time. It's going to improve your accuracy. And as a quilter, most of us really don't like all of the cutting that we usually have to do in order to start a project. So the AccuQuilt systems help with that because they make it one faster two you don't have to think too much and it's a little easier to not have to count <laughs> all the time your miscuts um you cut down on the amount of miscuts that you have because you know you cut two and a quarter and not two and a half that type of thing so it's been uh a lot of fun first i'm going to talk about the three 
possible, yeah, we have three systems um, to, careful, I'm gonna move. So that's coming to fix my shot. You'll have to tilt the camera up then. Yeah, that's coming to fix my, uh, be my cameraman for a moment, um, to fix it so that I don't have to have burning calves and, and uh, it's gotta go down a little, right there. That's good, thank you. I have to have a camera crew. I need a lighting crew, I need a mic crew. So I'm gonna talk loud because I did not put in my AirPods to have a microphone. So at any point in time, if you can't hear me, please just post a comment and mom and dad will yell for me from the side over here. So, all right, so we have three systems, okay? All different price points, all different levels of what you may need. So I'm gonna start with our smallest system first. This is the Go Me, okay? So the Go Me is just a smaller version of the other systems. It is closes up, it's portable, isn't really any wider than about six inches wide. So it's nice and tight and tidy, can easily go in a cabinet or uh, on a shelf. When you're ready to use it, you basically just fold down the two sides and the dies that you use would slide through here. This machine can't use a die over six inches wide. Now, you may think that's limiting. However, I think it's like 75% of the dies in the AccuQuilt library are six inches um, wide. So you're only, and majority of them are going to be uh, the larger blocks and the larger strip dies and things like that are really what the um, Go Me can't use. Okay, so after the Go Me, you get the Go. Okay, which is this one. Okay, still about the same six inches wide when it folds up for storage, okay? And when you're ready to use it, you just fold it down and then you're ready to insert your dies, okay? The Go Me and the Go are what we call manual. They're hand crank. So you actually turn a, turn a little crank to feed your die through. It's not that difficult. You don't need a lot of upper body strength to do it. And I'll demonstrate um, how easy it really does turn through the system. And then our final system and our biggest system is the Go Big, okay? So let me, he's a little bit wider, okay? But he does probably, he's probably about eight, 10 inches wide. He requires electric in order to use it because he feeds your dies through the system for you, okay? This, the Go Big is going to allow you to take uh, the lar all the quilt dies. So up to a, um, I think it's like a 14 inch die board. So it's going to allow you to do these larger dies that um, you couldn't do in the Go or the Go Me. I think there's only like six or seven dies that are exclusive to only being able to be used on the Go Big. So there is another system, it's called the Studio or the Studio 2. The Studio 2 you can't purchase through Material Girls. It only can be store, it can only be purchased um, online. To be honest, that system is, I would, I, I have one. We have one in the quilt store, okay? The dies are much bigger, much heavier, more expensive. If you are into this to cut pre-cut kits, to um, uh, school systems, that professional, that type of thing, for home <laughs> use, unless you have a giant studio, someplace that you can leave it up, and store it, not a problem. It does not fold up, it does not collapse. It is about this big, sits on a countertop in the other room. The dies are big, they're to me cumbersome to store. Uh, we have them here, We I don't use it very often. I had grand plans, um, but it just, it takes more people 
to use um, and to focus on cutting. We cut five inch squares, jelly rolls, things like that with it. I don't use it for uh, cutting quilts and things like that. It just wasn't something that um, we had purchased it originally for mass cutting jelly rolls, layer cakes, and charm squares. Even with the studio, you're still looking at the same number of layers. You just are looking at slightly larger dies and a, a completely different die selection for that. So um, with the Studio 2, you can use these dies. You will need to purchase a set of, um, they're, well, they're trays, but there is a, it's not a board, there's a, um, oh, I can't think of the word, but there's a plate that you have to purchase to sit underneath of these dies to raise them up because these dies are thinner than the Studio dies. So you have to purchase a riser kind of thing so that you can prop your dies up to be used in the studio. So I'm not going to talk any more about the studio because it's not something that we sell here in the store. And to be honest, it's not something that I think most of you, um, one, have room for, or two, um, really are going to use it that much. Um, in that capacity and it's not portable however all of these machines are what we call portable adapter yes thank you thank you adapter is the word that I could not think of but and I have those here too so if you want to see them they're over in the other the lounge classroom um, honestly gathering dust <laughs> now let's talk about dyes because I've mentioned the word a couple of times so, dies look like this, okay? You purchase them based on the shape and the size of the item that you want. They come on a board, okay? This is the six inch width board. We have six by 12s, we have six by 24s. There's all sorts, depending upon the actual, um, the actual die, so, and the die shape. We even have six inch squares. So if you're not a quilter, why would you need a AccuQuilt? If you cut, um, maybe you want to do, you're an embroiderer and you want to embroider applique. The AccuQuilt system will cut uh, applique pieces. Now granted, it's not going to cut a piece for a design collection that is, you know, made by OESD. But you can get a lot, a large variety of um, generic shapes, things along that lines, pumpkins and animals and cars and trains. And then you can applique, pre-cut your applique shape with that particular uh, die. And then it's ready to be placed in your embroidery design without having to do any trimming. So I just go, we're going to talk about that first. So we can just, let me get my embroidery hoop because I have it already stitched. So for example, this is the Scotty dog. Okay. So looking at the Scotty dog, I have a piece of fabric that I have fused with a piece of a uh, fusible web. Okay. The AccuQuilt systems can cut up to six layers of media and uh, correctly and accurately. So when you fuse things to the back of your fabric, that is considered a layer. So right now this would be considered two layers. So I could stack three of these squares up and run through the system at once and cut out three dogs. So I'm going to take my piece of fabric. I'm going to lay it over the die shape. And now our dies are two-toned so that you can see exactly where um, they are. There are some older dies out there that were not two-toned. Just took a little bit longer for you to kind of fill for the die shape. So this allows you to be a little more um, accurate. I'm going to lay my piece of fabric covering up all of that shape. I'm then going to take a mat. This mat goes on top of your die and your fabric. Okay, you have to have a mat um, in order to cut. You can then run it through. 
Oh, let me plug my system in here. I unplugged it to fold it up. And we're just going to push it over to the machine. And it's going to run it through, pop it out the other side. We're going to Static electricity builds up between the die and the rollers, so we give our mat a little bit of rub, love. We rub and we don't slide. I'm gonna come over closer to the camera so you can watch it happen. And he's cut out, okay? I would then, AccuQuilt provides you on their website, they, for, for dies that are appliques, applique shapes they will they provide you some basic design formats you get the design uh with a blanket stitch a decorative stitch around the edge or a satin stitch around the edge so you get three cover stitch options for these designs so you would load that design um, into your machine run the first color stop that would give you the placement line Peel your fusible paper off the back. Place your dog inside that line. Not while you're standing up and trying to do it vertically. Iron him in place and then return him to the machine. And he will then do the decorative stitch around the outside. And before we're done today, I will um, we'll take the camera down and I'll show you, we have a tulip, we have some other, we have the Scotty Dogs finished. I have some alphabets that are, have been appliqued. Um, these were all appliqued in these letters that were here. So we'll talk about those. Question. We have a question from Someone the audience. They wish they would do equilateral triangles. Uh, we do have equilateral triangles. Um, I will talk about that in one second. Depends upon what size you need. We only have a couple of sizes of equilateral triangles. So as a quilter, why do we want a AccuQuilt? Well, one, it's gonna cut your shapes and it's gonna cut them accurately. You're not having to count. The other thing that the system does is cut six layers at a time accurately. It's also gonna do what we call engineered corners. So what an engineered corner is, Come over here is do you see how the um, points on the this is a uh, flying geese let me go this way and this is flying geese this is a half square triangle and so the corners have all been cut off on the um, shape so that you don't have any dog ears so that when I take two pieces of fabric and I put them right sides together and I sew, I'll have an exact square, okay? No dog ears to trim, nothing to um, trim up. Let's uh, get that there, okay? And it will be right like that. And the same would go for like the flying geese shape. The dog ears are trimmed off. You know exactly where to put this piece of fabric to line up and to be straight on your AccuQuilt. Designs are safe to the rest of the state. Yes. Okay. So let's watch. So here is what this is the value die. This die comes with a square, a coordinating half square triangle, and a smaller square that coordinates with this half square triangle. The value die comes with the AccuQuilt Go system. Um, this one was a flying geese that comes with the Go Big system, and I believe with the, the Go Me system comes one as well. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna stop saying that now. Yeah. If I wanted to cut six layers, I, you know, and I only wanted to do it out of one particular shape, or if you wanted to do the whole die, you could. But if I only wanted this square, I could just take my fabric and lay it on top of that one shape. I'm just going to do what we call fan fold back and forth. Okay. Let's see, that's one, two, three, four, 
five layers, and then six layers. I'm just gonna cut this extra off with a pair of scissors. And because I'm only cutting one shape, I can just use the smaller mat. I don't need to cover. Where there is no mat, the system won't cut. So if I had fabric laying here on my die, but I only had a mat here, this is the only place the system's gonna cut. I have six layers on this die. We're gonna take it over here to this one. We're gonna butt it up against the roller and we're gonna roll. And I am just do, 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 rolling. Take our mat, give it some love, slide, don't lift, and then we pick up all the fabric, and I have now cut six two and a half inch squares, perfect and accurately um, with ease. Now as quilters, the, the AccuQuilt system, you think, well, I'm gonna have to buy a die for every size square or every size strip. Yes, you will. But AccuQuilt has developed a um, cube system for our quilters. So let me talk about this cube system. Cubes are available in six, eight, nine, 10, and 12 inch finished cubes. They are all the size geometric shapes that coordinate together to create a quilt block in that size. So that eight inch size uh, is based on a four patch um, square. And I'm not gonna get too far in I could talk for days in this. This is the whole purpose of Accu Quilters Club once you have an Accu Quilt. But, come over here. So in a cube, okay, my camera's mirrored, so I'm like trying to figure out how to, how to move my hands. I'm not drunk. <laughs> so it has a large square, it has a small square that four of those number twos, if sewn together, would make a number one size half square triangle, quarter square triangle, or a flying geese. This, this triangle matches up to the flying geese unit or makes a smaller half square triangle. You have an on point square, and then shape number five is the outside edge of that on point square, a parallelogram, and a rectangle. All of these shapes can go together to create um, 72 different quilt blocks. And depending on if it is a four inch, and uh, depending on which cube, and if it's on a three by three grid or a four by four grid will depend upon if it's a eight inch square, a 12 inch square, a 16 inch square. So lots and lots of things. I know, I bent over. Give me one second, I'm gonna scan some questions. Okay, three and a half inch equilateral. Thank you. I will look, we will look that up. Mom, in that stack right there from for today's Accuculture's lecture, we're going to talk about equilateral triangles. Um, there should be two equilateral dies, but I don't know if three and a half is one of them. But for those, you can have custom dies made, okay? So if there is a shape or a size that you don't know, uh, they don't make and you want or an applique shape that you want, they will make a custom die um, without, and they'll make it for any system, whether you have that studio or you have one of these three. I don't think I have mine. I do have a, I have a custom necktie, but I think it's um, for the big, the studio machine. Just one inch to two and a half and then you have four and a half. Yeah, it jumps from two and a half to four and a half on that equal laterals, but I will put in a request for a, um, three, and a three and a half inch equal lateral. But, so that's a little bit about the cube system. We do have a bundle called the Ready, Set, Go. The Ready, Set, Go is a great starter bundle for the quilter, okay? It includes the Ready, the Go system. It includes the eight inch cube and it includes a two and a half inch strip die. Plus the mat. And then the mats that coordinate. So this is a strip die. This one's two and a half, so there are blades every two and a half inches. This particular one will cut um, four 
three two and a half inch strips okay and basically not only will it cut strips but it will also cut diamonds in both 30 60 and 45 degree okay it will also cut squares so let's take a look at it i'm gonna lay my strip down here so you could cut your own jelly rolls you could cut your own um inner border <laughs> in borders binding i have a whole technique on how to cut bias binding with an accu quilt um, i'm gonna take a six by 24 mat because i only have uh two strips covered here slide this over So you also get, when you purchase um, a cube, you get a copy of the Go Cube book, which is full of patterns and projects and blocks that can be all made with the AccuQuilt cube. Okay. Slide, don't lift. Get rid of that. And I have a two and a half inch strips okay if i wanted to cut two and a half inch squares i take this same die i'm going to take my fabric and instead of laying it lengthwise i'm going to lay it widthwise on the board and i can fan fold it as well And then I could take my other one. Let's say, let's cut some 45 degree diamonds. So I'm gonna lay it on a screen printed line at a 45 degree line here. And I'm going to just fan fold it over. And we're going to lay a mat on top of it. And did I not grab the, mom, did I, did I leave the large six by 24 cutting mat over there on the counter? one second let me get the right mat I need a longer mat than I used a minute ago I'm gonna cover that up we're gonna run this through the machine now in reference to the cubes each cube also has two companion cubes that contain four shape four additional shapes each so you have a companion angle and you have a companion corner so you can have snowballs a uh, triangle and a square things along that lines are in the cubes do you have any slippage as it cuts the shape no no slippage as it cuts the shape that's why this system presses this all systems kind of press down as you go through that's also why we don't cut more than six layers is because then you start to get shifting let me come over here so that you can see this up close so here, all I did was take, and now I have, what, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, two inch, two and a half inch squares. And then here I have 45 degree diamonds, okay? Now, the big question for a lot of people is, doesn't it waste fabric? To be honest, no. No more than you would rotary cutting, okay? So when you lay a strip on the mat, on your cutting mat, on your cutting table to cut with your traditional rotary cutter, you would have to cut off a small amount of fabric to trim up and straighten up the edge. Well, this system, you do the same thing. If I lay this here, I'm gonna cut a small strip off of the fabric before I cut my actual shape. You can be very, very accurate. I actually think you use less fabric cutting this, especially some of your more challenging shapes um, with different angles and things like that. This works really well at saving fabric. You can cut fabric right side up, wrong side down. You can put fabrics right sides together. So with that being said, if you have to cut a lot of half square triangles, if you sandwich the two pieces of fabric that you're gonna make the half square triangles out of right sides together and then run them through the AccuQuilt, 
it will cut them out ready for you just to pick up and feed into the machine to sew. You're not standing there trying to take two piles, join them together, get them lined up. If you cut them together, they'll already be together and save you time there with having to do, with piecing those half square triangles. Okay, same with, same with cutting uh, four patches. So for example, let me see if I have it here. I may not, I may not have kept them. Let's see. I may not have, and I didn't think about it, but you could, that's tumblers. This is curves. Okay, cutting a four patch. So if you knew, or, an, or even a nine patch, if you knew that you were gonna make a nine patch or a four patch, you would sew two strips together. So if I was gonna do a red and white, and then it would be white and red for a four patch, I would sew a red and white strip together, press my seam either open or one direction, lay it back down on this particular uh, die, just like I did a minute ago, and run it through the system. And then your two patches are already cut and ready to go together with the other two patch to make your four patch. So it's just, it really is time saving. And if you're, again, if you're not a quilter, um, maybe a school teacher, library, um, this system cuts more than just cotton fabric. It will cut denim, it'll cut canvas, it will cut paper, it'll cut felt. So the applique shapes could be cut into applique shapes for felt playboards, things along that lines. I have a bunch of owls cut out right here and a bunch of pieces that could go, uh, a flower pot and the flowers that could be played with on a felt board to create um, uh, the kids' designs and things along that lines as well. I told Trina she could use, okay, she's Trina, I use a layer cake to cut a charm pack. Yes. Yes. You sure could use a layer cake to cut a charm pack. And I would get yourself the like five inch strip die. And then you could just lay that charm pack, that layer cake on the strip die, cut it in half once, run it through the system once to cut the 10 into two five by tens and then rotate your five by 10 rectangles and cut again. Or you could uh, lay half of them on the five inch square die and cut them with the five inch square die. Do you have an extended tray for the electric? There's no extended tray. Um, okay, let me see, let me answer some questions real fast. So if you have questions, please let me know. Miss Karen, I don't know what tray you're talking about. If you're talking about what you're seeing here on my system, this table right here is an AccuQuilt cutting table from Horn Cabinets. So this, this piece right here is part of this cabinet. This cabinet actually, this, this whole section will fold down and this one folds down too and just sits this. This piece here is what's designed, designed on the cabinet for the, the um, dies to come out on. But for, if you don't have this, the dies come out and they just tip down and it doesn't hurt anything, it doesn't hurt them. And as soon as the system sees and senses that the die is out, it stops running. So there's not an extension tray for it. It may be what you're thinking is this, and this is actually part of the cabinet. That's all, just a 10 inch. Okay, so one second, let me- uh, I think I got everything. Let's see, yes, this is being recorded. It'll be up on Facebook land forever. Um, I think I let's see. see. Cutting, nebula. Christy, if you give me a call here, uh, we can get you registered for today. I will have time to send you the link if you have time this morning. Um, yes, for I was going to post in the group for uh, Nebula. You could very easily cut those sidekick diamonds for those that are doing the journey to Nebula. You can cut them with the two and a half inch strip die. You just take your two and a half inch strips, lay them along that 45 degree line and run it through the system and you would have your, um, the diamonds already cut for you for Nebula. 
Yes, we do have AccuQuilt events scheduled for this year, okay? They are in November. I'm not 100% sure what's gonna happen. They'll probably be virtual events, but I'm still um, in the process. So we have a couple of um, programs that we will do in November for AccuQuilt. Uh, Christy, I have a card on file. I can take care okay. of it. Okay. I just went and looked. Okay, so the, two, the difference between the two manual systems is all size, Miss Donna. So size-wise, you're looking at, um, with the Go Me, you're only going to be able to cut dies that are six, no wider than six inches, okay? So this is gonna be the max with this, and then you just run it through just like you would on the other manual. What changes here is there's not as many strip dies for the Go Me because the size. They do make a two and a half inch strip die for the Go Me. It only cuts two strips at a time, but it is six inches wide. And then you can use it in the system. And you're a little more limited in the, what we call block on boards, the Bob dies. So some of the Bob dies, like the new uh, eight and a half inch snails trail would not work in the go me system, but the new starry path and the new maple leaf would. So it's just a matter of looking at kind of, we have catalogs in the store, kind of looking at the catalog and thinking, okay, I would use this, I would use this, and then looking at the size, and they tell you in the catalog what size the die is, that type of thing. And really a good 75 to 80% of the dies in the Aquaquilt library are um, the six inch die boards. Okay. On the big on that one, you can actually buy two, can you run two six inches? Yes, yeah, so on the, on the, um, the go big, you can run two six inch dies at the same time through the system. Um, it's wide enough here, you can run two at a time through as well. Um, how many quilts can you cut out before the die gets worn out? I have not Five, a clue. Seven. Um, it's a lot, to be honest. I've owned my Accu quilts. I've owned, I don't know, years. since we, 17 years. 17 years. Now I don't use it every single day, but as long as you cut over, you know, the appropriate number, you're not, you don't run over any pins or put, you know, things. Line. So the correct. So the machine will never run out the blade. The dies, the blades are in the dies. So yes, if you use a particular die every day, all day long, it, it may eventually wear. I always use the proper mat. Um, what wears out faster is gonna be a mat, okay? And so these mats get replaced. And this is the one thing that you do replace. So if you're starting to have issues with a particular die cutting in a particular area, um, usually sometimes it's the mat, not so much the die. So, Mats can be used upside down, right side up. They can be used sideways, you know, at an angle to try to help, you know, change out the um, die impression, the cutout impressions that are in it. That's there. Yes, the Go Me is just like the Go Baby. So if you have a Go Baby, it's a Go Me. They just um, got rid of the word baby and changed the die that comes with it. So it's the same, and instead of being pink, it's turquoise. Turquoise accents instead of pink. So price ranges. An Accu Quilt Go Me is $129.99, okay? A Go is $299. The Ready, Set, Go system that has the eight inch cube, the two and a half inch strip die, a cutting mat for the two and a half inch strip die, the Go Cube has a cutting mat with it for all those dies. Comes with the mix and match cube book, a pattern booklet, idea booklet, user manual, product registration, all of that is in the box, is $449. It's uh, like $150 savings to buy it all together in the set. And then the Go Big is $599. Uh, and that comes with the, um, 
the Go Big, the Flying Geese Dye uh, pattern booklet, um, cutting mats to go with the Flying Geese Dye, and then I have uh, uh, AccuQuilt um, Go the uh, get you a preview of the Go Cube booklet that with the systems as well. So you're looking anywhere from $129 to $599. I do have here in the store through the end of this month with a qualifying purchase of a big, a ready, set, go, or a go, I have a $90 off mail-in rebate. So once you make your purchase, I'll give you the rebate form. You drop it in the mail and you will um, be getting a $90 um, credit back, okay, from AccuQuilt. I believe it's in the form of a like Visa gift card, I believe. It could be a check, I don't know. I knew they were changing it at one point in time. So I do have an AccuQuilt club, it's called AccuQuilters. Uh, as of right now, AccuQuilters is all virtual, okay? We meet the first Saturday of the month, however this month because of the holiday we're meeting the second Saturday. It's lecture demonstration, okay? We, we um, I pick a topic and I talk incessantly for an hour on that topic. <laughs> we talk about how to cut on the die, how to piece that particular um, shape, and how to use it. And then I have inspirational pictures and things uh, to help you um, use that die. This month, today at 10 o'clock, AccuQuilters will be all about hexagons. So we're gonna talk about full hexagons, half hexagons, equilateral triangles with hexagons. I have a variety of piecing techniques, a, um, all sorts of stuff that we're gonna cover in AccuQuilters. AccuQuilters is $10 a month. You can pick and choose your topics that you participate in. You don't, it's not like you um, pay for the year and have to come all the time, especially if it's not a topic that's not your thing. Uh, so you can pick and choose. That's there. Let's see. Cubes are $219.99 uh, for the mix and match cube. If you are looking for companion cubes, um, companions are, if you give me one second, I can tell you, are companion cubes price $129.99. If I just looked and turned over to the back, we'd be good. Um, I do have Go Bigs in stock. I have Ready, Set, Goes, Go Bigs, and Goes in stock. I don't have any Go Me's at the moment, uh, but I do have all the other systems available as well. So, let's see. Any other questions? Because I think you've probably finished your breakfast and coffee by now. Um, I hope that you found it a little informative. I could talk for hours on this particular topic. If you have, if this has piqued your interest or anything along that lines, please come see us. Uh, the systems are set up in the store. We'll gladly walk you through it in person. We will have AccuQuilt educators in the um, events in the store in November. I don't know if it'll be here in the store, but there will be probably a virtual option for those planned events in November. Um, let's see. No slippage with the fabric or cutting of the shape. I have not had any issues. We've done lots. So let me grab my camera real fast so that I can, let's take it off the tripod here. And so, and let me flip it around maybe so that we can see some things. Okay. That right there, here, this is um, two different AccuQuilt dies. That is the tulip die up top and the st uh, stems die um, down the bottom done with embroidery. Okay. This here is the morning star die. This was last month's Accu Quilters Club. Uh, this is the fork and spoon and knife die that was appliqued on top of uh, half square triangles from the cube. 
These are just all different sizes and shapes of blocks that come out of cubes, showing you what they look like, the same block, what they look like in their size. Here is letters that were cut with the Accu quilt and then stitched on with the applique um, function. We have bunny rabbits from the Easter spring medley dye. And then the center of that is a scrappy um, crazy quilt die. And then we have the Scotty dog, the um, Thanksgiving turkey and maple leaf are a cube and a cube companion collection. And let's see, I have, let to do, let you walk over here. I have one quilt hanging up here. This was also a previous Accu Quilters Club. Um, this is strips and ladders. This was done with a cube and a strip die. This was a two, in, a two inch strip die. Uh, cut all of those um, squares there and all those triangles. And then one more, sorry, I'm gonna slow down so I don't make you ill. Say good morning, Mom and Rebecca. Good morning. Good morning. This quilt, I move my hand there. This here is, was also a previous Accu Quilters, but available here in the store is the um, done with a companion for a cube. Um, so this is called Cube's Best Friend. All done with the Accu Quilt. Completely cut out and pieced on the system. So you have the um, quarter square triangle. This is the triangle in a uh, square for from the cube. All right. Okay. Let me do, let me check one more thing for an equilateral triangle because there may be one in a companion angle that I forgot about. There is a three inch finished equilateral triangle in the, um, I believe it's, I believe it's equilateral. I'd have to check it, but there is a three inch finished one in a six inch companion angle set. So there may be an option there. Okay. All right. Any other questions? Cause I'm going to sign off and go, uh, get myself ready for, uh, Accu Quilters here this morning. Um, dies, do they retire? Yes and no. There are some limited edition dies that are put out um, throughout the year. I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see. And typically those limited edition dies that you see are, they're um, turquoise. They're, they're not the standard green dye. They're a turquoise dye. So let's see. Camper to fork are limited edition dies. However, the crab die here was so popular, it's no longer limited edition. It'll be around forever. So yes and no. There are limited edition dies. But you usually get a long time. They're, they're usually out for a good year before they um, decide to retire them. And when they do... Um, you get a good while notice to know about that. Yes, Miss Joanne, I do have the Scotty dog. I will put one in the drawer for you. If you are interested in joining the 10 o'clock uh, Accu Quilters, please call us so that I can get you registered and get you the Zoom email information because we do that class via Zoom, okay? And that way I can email you the presentation, the handouts, and things like that for class. Okay. How many phones can Amy hold on to? Well, thank you, everybody, for joining us for our first virtual breakfast club. I hope you enjoyed it and you we started off your Saturday. We'll be back here next Saturday for Accu Quilters, and I don't even know the topic. Mom? What's the topic next Saturday? <laughs> Can you tell? I, I have no idea what we've done, what we're doing yet. 
it says in the in the newsletter. It says should be on the right front page of the newsletter. Oh, yes, we're going to embroider cards next next Saturday. So we're going to learn how to use uh, embroidery designs with uh, cards and make your own custom cards. All right, everybody. Hope this was a great way to kick off your Saturday. Enjoy the day, and I hope I see some of you here in just a little bit. Thank you, everybody.